Welcome back students. Today we're going to focus on problems that has to do with higher purchase. And whenever you go and purchase a product on higher purchase, you usually will purchase that product in two ways. One is by buying it cash price and the other way is by getting the product on higher purchase. And whenever you purchase that product on higher purchase, for the most part you will usually pay for that product double the amount of what you're going to pay for it when you buy the product on cash. All right, so let's start and go straight into the problem. It says higher purchase. It's a TV that is on sale. It says buy the TV cash and get 15% discount and the TV costs $1,500. It says calculate the price. So we want to purchase this TV using cash price. Because we're buying the TV cash, we will get 15% discount. So it means that we'll pay a little less than $1,500 for that TV because we're buying it cash and they are giving us a discount. So the first thing you want to do in a problem like this is to find out how much is 15% discount you're getting on buying the TV for this $1,500. So the rule is 15% and you know that percent always go over 100 times the price of the TV which is $1,000. $500 over 1. So remember, step 1, what we're doing is actually finding out what is that 15% discount. So there's a rule. We have two zeros here. So we could also cancel two zeros here. So at the bottom, you only have one, so that's good. So in order for us to find out how much we're going to pay for the TV, we have to find our discount, and that's what we're doing now. So let's multiply 15 times 15, and that will tell us how much discount they gave us on the product. 5 times 5 is 25, bring down the 5, carry the 2. 5 times 1, 5, and 2, 7. Again, 1 times 5, 5, under the tens place, and 1 times 1, 1. Bring down the 5, 5 plus 7 is 12. Bring on a 2, carry the 1. 1, 2. So when we multiply 15 times 15, it's $225. So remember this $225 is the discount that they gave us when we purchased this TV cash. So now we need to minus this $225 because it's a discount they gave us from this $1,500 and that will be our cash price. So let's do that part. So remember the TV cost, $1,500 minus a discount of $225. And when we minus that, that will give us the price for the TV. So let's minus this and see what is the price of the TV cash. Zero from five, we can't. So we have to borrow from this five. 5 becomes 4, this becomes 10. Borrow from the 10, that becomes 9, this becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 2 is 7. And 4 minus 2 is 2 and 1. So the price that we're paying for the TV cash is $1,275. So you realize whenever you're buying something cash, and it's a big item, usually places like courts, they will give you a discount. And so instead of $1,500, when we purchase the TV cash, we're going to pay $1,275. So once again, remember we're purchasing this TV that is on sale, and the problem says buy it cash and get 15% discount, and the TV costs $1,500. And what we are doing here is to calculate the price of the TV. So the first thing we did with this problem was to find out what is 15% of the price of the TV. Because remember, they gave us 15% discount. And when we set it up, it's 15% over 100 times the price of the TV, which is $1,500. We have two zeros at the bottom, so we can also cancel two zeros at the top. And when we multiply 15 times 15... That gives us $225. So to finalize the problem and get your answer, 
It's the price of the TV, which is $1,500, minus the $225, which is a discount, and the price of the TV cash is $1,275. Welcome back, student. As we continue working on our math problem, we want to continue with the second part of higher purchase. Remember, in part one, we purchased the item, which is a TV, on sale, and we got 15% discount, which was $225, and we minus that from the $1,500, and now we're going to purchase this TV on higher purchase. On higher purchase, as usually, you don't have the money at the moment, but you want the product, and so the company or the store will tell you, take the product home, and you will pay down a small fee or a small cost of what the product is, and they will give you the product in monthly installment. And in this case, let's go right into the problem. It says, calculate buying a TV on higher purchase, and you're going to pay down $500 and 12 payments of $120. So they are going to give you a year to pay for this product. But remember, the company says that you have to pay down that $500 before you take the TV home. And one mistake I don't want you to make in solving a problem like this, your $1,500 that you minus from your discount has nothing to do with your higher purchase price. The higher purchase price is simply, you pay down this $500 to the company, you take home the TV, and for 12 months, which is one year, you're going to pay $120 every month for 12 months until you pay off the total amount for the TV. So the goal is to find out what is the cost of that TV on higher purchase. So let's get right into it. So remember when I went to the store, I paid on, so I'm going to put that because that's very important. I gave them $500 and I took home the TV. And in the end, you have to add that to whatever your 12 months is and that will give you your higher purchase price. So after paying down that $500, remember they gave me 12 months to pay off for the product, 12 months of $120. So I need to multiply the $120 by 12 months, and that will give me an amount that I need to add that $500 to it, and the higher purchase price will be solved. So let's multiply this. 2 times 0, 0. 2 times 2, 4, 1 times 2, 2, under your tens place, 1 times 0, 0, 1 times 2, 2, and 1 times 1, 1. So we're going to add this, bring down the 0, 4 plus 0 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 1. So for that 12 months, I'm going to pay the company or the business $1,440. For the higher purchase price on the TV. But remember, this is not our answer as yet. Because apart from that 12 months, when I took home the TV, I paid down $500. So I need to add this $500 to this $1,440. And that will give me how much I paid for the TV on higher purchase. So let's work that. It's $1,440 for the 12 months plus the $500 that I gave them at the beginning when I took home the TV. So I need to add that. Zero, four plus zero, four, four plus five, nine, and one. So in total, this is my higher purchase price that I purchased for the TV. $1,940 I'm going to pay the company after a year. Remember, they gave me 12 months to pay for the TV. Once again, a quick review. The problem says, calculate buying the TV on higher purchase, pay down $500, and 12 payments of $120. So we start the problem by paying down $500. When I took home the TV, I gave them that $500. So that's very important to remember because at the end of our problem, we have to add that to the amount of months we're going to pay for the TV. Then they gave us 12 months to pay $120, and when we multiply that, we get $1,440.
And this is not the higher purchase price yet. This is just for the 12 monthly installment of $120. And remember when we got the product, we paid him $500. So we add the 140 for the 12 months plus the $500 we paid on at the beginning. And that gave us a higher purchase price of $1,940. Student, I trust that you got an idea now of higher purchase and that you will continue to review the video. And remember, Matt is practice. Always practice and you'll get familiar with the problem. Subscribe for more videos. A lot more coming soon. Stay in tune.